mean? It's like, why why would I not be cautious and be like, you know, shit, are you relatable? Do we got the same values? Like, these are the tangible things. How do you make me feel? You know? Not how do I feel because of what I want to do with you. Not how do I feel because I like you. Not how do I feel because... That is a big ass rat in this park. So I thought it was. Anyway. What? Like, what do I do? You know what I'm saying? What do I, what do, I do with that? If you can't deliver, like anybody can say these things, but if you can't deliver, what do I, what do I, what? You don't like kids, but I got kids. You don't like kids, but you got kids. I'm up with the biggest L. Like a puppy or some shit. Anyway. We gotta we gotta take care of ourselves, man. We gotta take care of ourselves because you ain't got no family. Don't nobody give a fuck about you, bro. If you do got family, they might they might not give a fuck about you, bro. But you gotta take care of yourself. We gotta take care of ourselves, man. You got kids. That's your goal. Cause it's fucked up out here. Don't be a dude who put a woman or a relationship before your relationship with your kids because that shit ain't worth it. That's not a fair, that's not a good investment. You better off investing in your kids, man. If you can't rock with it, that ain't the one for you. You're going to lose a lot of time and a lot of money and it's not going to be appreciated. But that's the risk you take when you choose lust over logic. Wherever need to hear this. But yeah. I, I, I broke up with my ex because I don't want to be in no subscription relationship. And I'm not getting shit out of it. I remember I broke up with me because she said some dumb shit like, I feel like a man because I took you to work twice. My car, I, my car died. My, part, my apartment I had was shitty. I needed I wanted to get another one. And I'm staying with you, but I still had a crib type shit. But with this situation was, I got my own shit. It's just, I'm building. I own my crib. I'm trying to renovate it. It's cost the money. My mom died. It's a lot. You know what I'm saying? My cousin died. It's a lot, man. And none of my sacrifices or my experiences or my grievances are appreciated or valued or respected. And there's no reason for me to stay in that situation now. Because what? I was on my own anyway. But I'm paying for somebody else's lifestyle. I'm paying for you to be around. I'm paying to be around you. Who the fuck are you? You know what I mean? You don't even own the house. I'm the one that own the house. I'm the like I'm the one that's following through with everything they say. You the one that's on some bullshit. And you feel like you could do that. It's like you gotta respect yourself and love yourself enough to realize when somebody's not paying you no value. They're not respecting your value. They don't value you, they don't respect you, they don't care about you. And you gotta care enough about yourself to walk away and just mean that shit. No matter what it takes and what you got to do. But I feel better being out of that situation and going through whatever grievance I got to go through and fixing this house up on my own than I did doing that. And that being the reason why I can't see my kids. 
when I'm in a space I can't totally see my kids. And it's 